Okay, just checking the microphone here. Looks like it's running all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Stream Dark Cloud 2. Uh, sorry I'm running behind again. My computer decided it wanted to force some updates down my throat, so that was fun. All right, so I believe we already have the characters that we want for this one, so... Little Dragons on the Mountain. We're still working on Monica's weapons. Now, specifically, I have Mayor Need in my party in lieu of anyone else, because unfortunately, excuse me, I have to cough because I'm still a little bit sick. Uh, please excuse me for just a moment. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're using Mayor Need in lieu of Lynn, because, well, Lynn's not here. We can't use her again. All right, so technically a new enemy, Holy Gun uh, Gundron. Basically the same as all the other Gundrons. I don't want to accidentally kill it, so this will do. Let's see, I want to make sure this gets to plus five, if possible. Experience we can expect here. Hopefully, getting this to five shouldn't take too long. Ooh. We got a double whammy. Ah, there's a stick Joe over there. Let's go deal with this idiot. Get a little closer, please. Not quite. A little bit closer. That's not close. Come here. There we go. As I say, you're mine now. And before I forget... There you go. Now yeah, you're doing pretty good. Freaking fish took my ambience away. That's not insane. That's more like it. with the moon armor. Yeah, I don't think that'd do much. But we at least got our first level, so that's something at least. Oh. How convenient! Red pod fuel! Red pod just got whacked! There we go. Excuse me, I just got a message. That is something I can do. Yeah, 
Epic Joe? Let's get these chests. I won't say no to free crystals. Okay, I gotta be careful with you. One more hit will probably kill you. So... Closer, please. Sorry. I keep, get, keep getting messages. Oh. I'm so distracted I forgot to not kill him. Whoops. Huh? 
Bro. Ugh. Don't get sick, folks. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Ugh. Okay, so it looks like we're about halfway done, so... I'll feed the fish once I get to the next fight here. Ooh. Potential treasures. gives us our music back. So you had the way out. Kind of deserve that? Hmm. Who wants to place bets that the speed of hole is probably going to be in here somewhere? And if not the hole, maybe the ball. Go back and actually like look at how many speedos I've done. Um, do I probably even need refueling? Yeah, probably only about like a single point. nuisance on the block is the last enemy left. Come here. Whew. Let me just check something real quick. I'm pretty sure I did, but... Okay, good. I did turn my microphone back on. That would have been a really awkward few seconds, or uh, probably a few minutes at this point, where I mute the cough and then forget to turn it back on. Ugh. Eat up, fishy. There you go. Looks like we got them all. 
Oh, the ball's right here. Cool. That's nice and convenient. Hmm, four shots. I can make that if I'm careful. Let's give it a go. the controller is a bit finicky. Let's do about that much. Mm, okay, probably could have done a bit better than that. Yeah. I'm two weeks out of practice. Cut some slack, okay? Oh, that's gonna be too much. Ooh, nope. Almost just the right amount, actually. That won't be enough to get it over there, though. Let's see. Yeah, I've got to round that corner. Um... And down the hole it goes. I'm not even going to bother with that one, because I know for a fact there's no way I can make that now. Prize for this one anyway. I know it's not anything critical, but I'm just curious. Let's see. I think this is Little Dragon on the Mountain. Little Dragons on the Mountain, and the speed of reward is not anything worthwhile. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but not anything that I would consider as critical. Did I forget to sell Eric's bombs? I think I did. Whoops. Okay, so I actually want to back out and grab a different character now that I'm done. Well, I'm not technically done getting the, um, what is it? I'm not technically done getting levels for the armband, but I'm close enough that I want to go ahead and grab the lane just so I can keep working on those drain seekers after I'm done with the armband. Let's see. In, please. Thank you. There actually is something I want to do. I want to go ahead and build something real quick. I want to make, I think a shed is cheaper. I don't need more logs for that, but yes, a, ch a shed is in fact cheaper. Actually, the barn would probably be cheaper. Okay, so tell you what, when I go through the next set of, like, going through and, like, talking to all the NPCs for services and stuff like that, I'll pick up some extra logs, build a barn, and come back. I'll do that now, because that's a blue seal. Excuse me. First off, Cedric, I need you to come with me. We're working on wrenches this time. And I guess while I'm here, I can go get the logs from Kyle. Uh, 
<sighs> okay, please excuse me. One ultimately futile throat clearing later. Okay, so obviously we can't actually, ass we, we wouldn't in our right minds think to do this because the game warns you, hey, it's raining fire, don't build anything made of wood. However, if you want to get 100% completion, you actually have to do it. It won't catch fire right away, but if you leave and come back, ah, uh, well, you'll see the results. So Cedric's in the party, I'll go ahead and go up. We'll deal with this blue seal and be on our merry way. Now we get the bonk dudes upside the head. Let's see what kind of monsters we're going to be dealing with here. Aside from Steam Goyons, obviously. Okay, so Savage Ram. This is a new enemy. These are the upgrades of the regular Rams. And these were actually in the first game, believe it or not. Uh, these were known as Mad Dashers, I believe. Didn't have time to charge there. They're just like their regular RAM counterparts in every way. Their attacks are the same, uh, whether or not you can block them is the same. And here's another pallet swap enemy, the Steam Goyon, which is also the level's namesake. I believe, unlike the regular Goyon, however, this guy is not weak to lightning. I believe he's weak to ice, because he's in a uh, fire area. Speaking of fish, let's feed ours. But yeah, it's just pallet swaps at this point, not really anything special. You're <laughs> not escaping me! Now I believe these guys were actually in the first game too, though they went by a different name. I think these guys were known as Moon Goyones or moon gyans, as they were called. I remember these guys in particular were really annoying because um, unlike the regular Goyon, which just had like a slow, straightforward charge at you, those guys tracked and they were very, very on your ass about it. Oh, of course, I would have my attack face through the floor. Get at it. Okay. And mutt. I hate these things. Can I get somebody that's not you? I would like to swap targets, please. There we go. You, come here. I'm gonna have to block this, because, yep, bullet. All right. All right. 
At the very least, without the ram in the way, dealing with this guy should be relatively simple. I don't care, he's dead. See, Brad's healing less and less. Magical crystal. Nice. Uh, hard to tell, but I'm guessing we're about halfway. I mean, if you're just gonna jump in front of me and be stupid, yeah, sure, I'll take advantage of that. Another one of these things. I see you over there. fish. I think you missed, good sir. Is that three? Yeah. More food, never a bad thing. Fuel. Um, yeah. I don't think we necessarily need that. Nope. Sorry, Rod Pod Fuel. Ooh, I'll mess with you later. Uh, do I even have a key? I don't think I do. No, I don't. I don't have any keys. Okay. We'll worry about that later then. Let's see, are you a dead end or do you loop around with those guys? You are a dead end, though you do have some rocks. That's what was being derpy and disconnected me again, so I just figured I'd stop for the night. Also, you're getting- You lie, sir! Also, hello! Wonderful, adorable boyfriend who teases me to no end. Also, I gotta ask, who died first? Of course. 
No, this is me. No. I will never admit to such slanderous claims. Nobody died so far tonight. Oh, good. So nobody has the dubious honor of first fast death of 2024 yet. All right, there's the map. And I'll just go ahead and use this thing here. We're not done yet, but I might as well go ahead and get it out of my bag. Ooh, a healing yeah. pool. Anyway, we actually had a few spirits tonight, a few twins, a Dio. Okay. you otherwise. This is my hill, and I will die on it. Oh! Either I missed an enemy earlier, or one of these is a mimic. Hi! I didn't think we were quite at the point where you showed up yet, but there we go. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. You know, it's kind of hard to set up a trap for people where you ambush them when both of your, like, yeah. Kind of hard to be a mimic ambush when both mimics right. are in the same room. That takes care of you guys. Sorry, but not fooled. Okay, so the ball's not in a bad place. Just admit to it, and we can end the debate. No, there will be no compromise. I will never admit to such slanderous claims. Plus four, so yeah, we're getting some work in. I will fully admit to being huggable. The other two things, no. Let's see, I don't have a key, so weapon drop? Yep, there we go. Ooh, that's a very rare coin and one that I'm not going to be using because that could potentially screw me over really hard. Uh, that gives the critical hit ability, which while really good, uh, when you're trying to refrain from killing things accidentally, it's actually a really bad ability. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of the last abilities I get when I don't need to worry about, uh, conserving my enemy kills as much. Well, let's see. I just want to move this ever so slightly. Ooh, ooh, don't clench like that. Okay. Let's see if I can get this careening over that ledge. No? Oh. Well, on the bright side, there wasn't a hole there for it to get stuck in, so that works. Let's see. Should just be able to launch this thing almost straight up. It doesn't have a good angle, but... probably move it back a bit, at least as much as I can, just to make sure I have enough space to get a good balance. Come on. Yeah, 
I want to make sure I have enough space to get a good bounce. So that should do. Come on, bounce. Oh, come on. Uh, I should have aimed at the wall. Yeah, we're like, what, 0 and 4 for speed, or, uh, yeah, 0 and 4 for speed it right now? Ouch. I never said I was good at it. This game is totally unpredictable when it comes to speed of color changes. Abstract advo advocate. Advocate, okay. And yes, you are indeed correct. It's not, no, it's not. I am fully aware of how arbitrary the speed of color change can be. I've hit a wall at full power and still had it not change. And yet you could also just give it a tiny little like, like breathe on it and it'll change color twice. So anyway, since we built that barn and left, now that we've come back, it's just a pile of cinders. And that is the only way to get cinders. So I'm clean this up. Unfortunately, that deletes it for good. So make sure you get the picture before you pick that up. Now, if you, <laughs> how cute you are. Will you stop that? Also, hello, Abstract. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I don't recognize you, and it says first time chat. So, uh, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. It's also nice to meet another Dark Cloud 2 fan, always. Uh, let's see, let's go to the Mikio first. We shouldn't have another character seal after that, so... Let's see, I believe Granny Rosa is in the purple. Yes. Don't mind the fault, I'm just here to mod, create chaos, and call the screen of cute. Yeah, basically. Even though he's wrong on that last count. I think I can get, I have enough room for the cheese. I've been trying to watch everyone who streams this game. The community needs to grow. It does. It really does. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not hoping for a Dark Cloud 3 or anything, because the state of the AAA gaming scene is so poor that I wouldn't trust anybody to make a good, uh, justifiable sequel uh, to this game, or even a spiritual successor, if uh, they were going to go that route. Unfortunately, Star, you are. What about Rogue Galaxy? I have actually never played Rogue Galaxy, though I do know its status as originally considered being Dark Cloud 3. Granted, that was only from, like, hints given in a Japanese-only art book. So... Eh? But yeah, no. I've never played Rogue Galaxy, so I have no opinion on it. And by extension, if we're talking about the whole Giorama RPG scene, which is what Level 5 technically calls this, uh, I have not played White Knight Chronicles either. If I'm not mistaken, and I passed on the PS3. 
Matter of fact, I think my most recent console is, I want to say my 3DS is like the most up-to-date console I have. You get your town building kicked fix from Conan Exiles. I have never played Conan Exiles. I know it's a survival game, but I've never really like played it myself. PS3 is great for playing PS1 games. I got my PS2 for that. <laughs> There really wasn't much on the PlayStation 3 that really interested me. There's only one game on the PS3 I would have actually bothered getting, but it's so outdated now that there's no reason for me to get it. And for PlayStation 4, I was waiting to see if Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to be any good before deciding whether or not I wanted a PlayStation 4, and Kingdom Hearts 3 was a massive flop, so yeah, I ain't getting a PS4, because uh, I don't get consoles just to play one game on them. And, uh... The only game I really wanted to play on the PlayStation 4 before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out was Bloodborne. And because of my no console for one game rule, really wanted to wait for Kingdom Hearts 3, had really high hopes for Kingdom Hearts 3, and they botched it royally. So yeah, not getting a PlayStation 4 or 5. I much prefer the PlayStation 2. you. Um, I think I just need to get bait from Fabio and that's it. actually move on, go on with our business. Uh, Star thinks he remembers playing Rogue Galaxy when it got ported over to the PS4. Uh, yeah, that's actually a little bit of interesting, um, I guess a little interesting tidbit about Rogue Galaxy is that it was originally teased, sort of, as Dark Cloud 3. Though, um, the guy in charge of level 5 at the time when that was the case actively noted in the art book when that little point was made that it was entirely possible that um, the tease would not have been Dark Cloud 3, but ended up becoming another game entirely. And that's more or less exactly what happened. Modern Exiles lets you build pretty cool buildings, towns, and inhabit it with carpenters, dancers, cooks, blacksmiths. That's just the itch. That's cool. That's actually really neat. My, uh... My friend Merrick plays Conan Exiles a bunch, but I um, don't really know much about it other than that. And Star sadly does not have a PS4, so he can't double check. Oh. Yeah, I don't play Dark Cloud for the city building. Like, it's a nice touch. Um, Dark Cloud's actually probably one of my favorite series of dungeon crawlers. There's literally nothing to replace Chiarama. Yeah, it's nice and unique, though I see it as more as a kind of like a, a sort of necessary thing to pass through. It's not offensive. You play it for the fishing. For me, I play it for the dungeon crawling and the combat. I love the dungeon crawling in Dark Cloud 2 in particular. It's what got me into the dungeon crawling sub -dungeon. Plus, listen to that music. How do you not love the music? Okay, so we got another new enemy, but I'll go over that one in a second. Gotta feed our fish first. Listen, Digimon World 4 got me into dungeon crawling. I've never played a Digimon game. So anyway, uh, here's a new enemy, Burger. I actually want to run past this guy if I can. I don't like fighting big enemies in narrow spaces. All right, you, you come over here. Oi. Oi. Taper with a weight problem. I am talking to you. Get over here. Okay, fine. I'll just snipe you from over here. He was probably caught 
listening on to the fact that I wanted to butcher him. But anyway, that was a burger, which is a, a normal enemy variant of the Memo Eater. It has the exact same attacks, exact same properties. Not really anything special. I do believe that snot attack can either thirst or goo you, though. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Idiots turn their back. All right, that should be the armband at plus five, so you don't have to mess with that anymore. And now it's sword time. Oh. I mean, I have to butcher them with the sword anyway. Uh, I'll deal with you. the striped dress. I like this combination for Monica. It's a nice custom, uh, nice custom outfit, nice two-tone. And one thing I will always do for Monica, no matter what my playthrough, no matter what my actual, like, um, outfit total for her, she will always have the swallowtail. I love the swallowtail for her hair pick. I don't believe we need that. Lightning crystal. Kitty Bell striped dress and panther boots. Eh, I can see that. Going for a bit of a gel look, I guess. things. You never actually played the first one. I never made that connection. Oh, I was actually about to ask if you never played the first one, but I didn't want to, like, be presumptuous and assume that you hadn't. Okay. These guys will drop money, but I don't want them exploding on me, so... Oh, yeah, Steam KOTOR. I need y'all to just, like, take your own lives, blow yourselves up, and get out of my way so I can start chopping up your parrot. who played Dragon Quest VIII. I know Dragon... I know uh, Level 5 had a big hand in Dragon Quest VIII. I personally haven't played any of the Dragon Quest games past the third one. Um, the over-reliance on gambling in all the games past that turned me off. Jeez. Decent amount of money from that, but dang. There's a stone tea. 
yeah, since you played Dragon Quest VIII, you probably know about the, um, the Dark Cloud II reference in uh, Dragon Quest VIII. One of the outfits for... Uh, I forget her name. I think her name's Jessica. Uh, there's a female character in that game who wears a dress uh, very similar to uh, Monica's star leotard. You have to play eight if you like this game. It's made with an upgraded version of the Dark Cloud engine. I think the... Bye, Star. Yeah, I think the latest version of that game would actually be on the... Ho oh, oh, ho oh. The 3DS. Wow. That's a really rare item. You very, very, very rarely find these in regular chests. Especially not this early. Like, this is where we can start finding them as speeder rewards. I don't think I've ever seen one outside of, like, the final two dungeons from a chest. So you can diagonal run in Dragon Quest VIII just like you can in this game. I actually just discovered the diagonal run, like, practical, like from practical purposes in uh, this very playthrough, actually. I'd read about it before, but never actually bothered to test. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can actually find the VOD that I had uploaded where I found that out. It was after I got gooed, uh, I think by a Himara. But yeah, it has a practical use? Yes! Considering it's this game's equivalent of a sprint, but uh, you can use it to semi-bypass goo, if you want to think of it that way. I used it to crush Sheriff Linkhorn's pride. Yeah, that's the main re that's the main use for it, but uh, you can use it to semi bypass the movement speed penalty of goo. Overall, I see it more as an engine quirk than something to actually like use regularly, but it's nice to have. And I'm sure speedrunners make use of it a lot. I spam menu the moment I get hit, I ain't got time for status conditions. Uh, I believe in this particular instance, when I found this out, I was on the white seal floor, so I couldn't get rid of it immediately. Either that, or it was like there was a healing pool nearby, so I just decided, screw it, I'll just heal there. Hmm, okay. Looks like I missed my opportunity to feed the fish before, so I'll just go ahead and do it now. I'm gonna lose the music, but oh well. Yep. Feed. Yeah, the only status effects I really care about, honestly, are um, goo and I think stop and petrify. Poison, I don't care, because I'm gonna get poison no matter what. Because if it's not from an enemy, it's going to be from a chest trap. I do use diagonal music when I'm blocking. You can adjust around big enemies. Now, that I never tried, but I usually don't have that problem. Because blocking in this game is just busted. I do have Melane on my team, right? Yeah, just making sure. My memory is awful. Honestly, if I'm fighting big enemies, like really big enemies, we're talking like Rod Pod types, I have other means of uh, dealing with them besides just constantly being behind them. It's not that huge of a deal. There's a no fruit of ooh, no upgrade items run. Oh dear, I can only imagine how well that's gonna go, considering one hit and you're dead from pretty much anything outside the water channel, and maybe Rainbow Butterfly Wood. 
I'm pretty sure everything from Balance Valley onwards will probably one-shot you with that. Oh dear. Too soon? Nope. Looks like we got them all. Certain attacks bleed through block now and kill in two to three block hits. That sounds about right. Now, one thing I've always known is that there are attacks you just can't block, period but I never bothered to check if it was based on the attack itself or your defense stat. Like, for example, most things that can poison you, uh, most poisonous attacks will go through your guard. On the bright side though, you can, with such low health, you can guarantee that if you don't get one shot, Red's a full heal. Are you trying to just win the first race or the main three? Uh, just the first one, because that's all you need for the side quest. I don't care too much for the uh, fishing contest any frenzy thing. Very nice. Okay, I can shoot that down this way. And that should be okay. Oh, finally, my first speed of win in this dungeon. Lucky shots, let me tell you. That first shot could have gone so badly had the corner collisions not been working with me. Alright, I believe this is a resurrection powder if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. No, a bandit coin, which is useless. <laughs> I have the Cabarrus hands for that exact reason. I don't need the bandit coin. a month-long mental health break after trying to do underground channels, Fida. Yeah, no. I, I, I'm not the kind of person who intentionally goes after medals. I pay attention to, like, what the item is that I would get out of it. And if I care enough, I will go out of my way to get it. I'm not gonna get medals. I don't care. Alright, so let me just make sure I'm doing this right. One, two, one, two, one. Okay, so we go here. Magmanoff. Okay, so no seals. Yeah, I, I know um, when they ported this over to PlayStation 4, they added achievements to it, and one of the achievements that you need to get for 100% completion is get all medals. My god, you must be insane to try that, because some of the challenges that they require you to do for those medals, like, especially like item only in floors with flying enemies. You were trying to get the name change tickets pre-Lin, it was not worth spending time down there. Ugh. God, I can only imagine. Incidentally, I will more than likely be getting enough medals to purchase at least one name change ticket, so I will probably end up showing what that does in particular. But um, it's not like a long-term goal or anything like must-have. I will get exactly what I need, when I need it, when the time comes. You just don't want to get blendered. Come here. Because, thankfully, I've played this game enough that I got the, uh, sort of the pacing down to a science. 
So outside of the first two chapters, and at one point during this chapter, I really don't need to stop to grind. Oh wait. I'm not training the armed men anymore. I don't have to go easy on you. my lifelong love for min-maxing a New Game Plus with the photo album. Yeah, I mainly use New Game Plus to get the um, access to all costumes right at the start so I can make whatever costume I wanted without having to pay for the parts. Like, that's the main thing I use New Game Plus for. Granted, this is also one of the few games where you actually have to play New Game Plus to get 100% completion. Especially if you're trying to go for like a 100% complete photo album. Or a photo collection. pointed out to me that you can't name change oh you can't name change Gaspard sword I, I think that's because you don't you can't get his sword as far as I'm aware because it's not like something you can actually equip so many different swords and it's not one i mean it kind of makes sense it's supposed to be like that weapon's unique to him but that is true actually if you look at um for those of you watching either now or in the future who don't really know much about the game if you actually look at a weapon chart to kind of see what goes where in terms of growth monica has the largest variety of weapons between her two types most of them are swords maxed out on cheese. Awesome. That means I can make the final of the uh, double puddings. I'll probably never use the double puddings, but they're there in case I do need them. Do you take your Cabarrus hands to big bucks or just leave them there? I'm going to make them big bucks. Previously, what I would do is I would use the pocket coals that um, I think her name is Julia. I'd use the pocket coals that, see, that she sells, but because I can't get bonus points after chapter three uh, for armbands, I prefer using the big bucks hammers instead, because I get more stats from them. Alright, so I believe, yeah, the drain seekers are good. We don't need to worry about that anymore. So everything else on this floor is basically ride pod fodder. That's what started all of your madness. What, um, Big Bucks Hammers? Getting a five-star pre-lin so she can help. Oh, yeah, trying to get a five-star armlet before you get to win. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Sweet, sweet bonus. Yeah, see, I prefer the long-term bonuses. And you miss out on quite a lot using the name change ticket method.
like if you're technically going for min max purposes and you don't care how you particularly do it uh max's wrenches are actually one of the better things to use it for uh, especially if you go the battle wrench true battle wrench then drill wrench path because you get so many not if you spend a hundred hours grinding i mean again if you know what you're doing you don't really have to burn it because outside of the first couple of chapters where they kind of force you to uh you don't have to grind in the game because once you get past rainbow butterfly wood most of the uh most of the uh, dungeons will be long enough with enough XP on each individual floor that provided you kill everything every single time, you will never be wanting for experience. enemy KOs to get the five star to max staff while in chapter three with Lin. Yeah, that sounds about right, considering how tier uh, high tiered that weapon is. It would not surprise me that it took that long. What level was it when you finally maxed it out? Here's a new enemy, technically. Magmanov! It's basically the same thing as the Ivanov, but a number pump. everything except attack surprisingly and I finished it with power crystals I think it's eight now oh you must have used some very powerful synth spheres if you only got it to plus eight ruler sword and other weapons from the photo album ah yeah that's how you do it that's how you do it that's one of the many ways that the photo album could be useful and how new game plus can potentially just bust everything like i said at the beginning though i personally think the game's easy enough even without using that kind of method so i prefer just taking it as i go but I like that it's possible. Indeed. Like, technically, if I wanted to, I could, uh, as well with the one-hit death run. Yeah, I can see why you'd kind of want the, uh, the higher power to compensate for the fact that you die in one hit. Nice Steve, great look. Yeah, this is the uh, best parts it could have up to this point. I'm making a habit of uh, making sure I have all the inventions at the end of every chapter, as far as it's like feasible. So I've got the propeller legs, the super alloy body, the Nova Cannon, and the vacuum pack. being so intense. Uh, I mean, it is on this. 
have always been kind of red. Granted, it may also be because I'm playing on an emulator and have um, higher resolution enabled. Probably it. I spent 20 years playing on PS2. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Red ball, red hole. Judging by the positioning. Red paint. Let's see. Judging by the positioning, I'm going to say that probably two to four. Usually that distance is anywhere from two to four shots. shot around the corner makes or breaks me. Pretty much, yeah. Corner shots like that, especially when the, um, if you actually try and do the specialty shots, like the ba like the backspin or whatever, um, those are incredibly wonky. Oh, wow, I got five. Ace being generous here. Hmm. Probably expect me to fail a bunch. That might be too much. Oh, that's gonna be too much. Yep, in the hole you go. Had I not gotten that, like, perfect, that probably would have made it. There we go. Yeah, it's not quite around the corner. I should be able to get it straight down that way, though. It's wild how much it matters, too. It does. Like, I've never used any of the special shots, like the top spin, the back spin, the slice, the hook. I don't use those because they're way too unreliable. Uh, let's... Hope this doesn't go into a hole. Okay. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Ooh! Ooh, I might be able to make this from around the corner if the wall collisions feel like being nice. Let's see. Oh. We get like a fine-toothed comb. Right there. Alright, game, you're gonna play nice? Invisible wall or not? Find out next time on Dark Cloud 2. And this time it was not an invisible wall. Okay, so I've got one shot left. I'm just going to move this over to the left some, or to the right. How far can I move you? A fair distance, it looks like. All right. Now, here's the question. Will it change color when it bounces? Yes or no? Let's find out. Yay, it bounced! This is where I use top spin to jump in. That's me. Ah. <laughs> yep, I am a diehard straight shots only because I'm terrible at golf. <laughs> Basically the same shot, yeah. <laughs> Woo, a free ruby. Very nice. All right, well, before we depart, we have a coin to spin.
think anybody needs healing. Nope. All right. Not helpful, but thank you. You wish ABS coins were more common rewards for Speeda since they're part of the level up powder recipe. Yeah, I can see why, but for me, the level up powders are, they're too impractical to craft simply because of that. So yeah, I, I've, I've managed to find ways around needing those. I'll take what I can get from Speeda, don't get me wrong. But, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna craft any myself. I've got better uses of my time than that. Your ABS reward is actually affected by whether or not your current weapons have ABS up or poverty. Wait, poverty affects it? With a coin flip. I didn't think poverty affected, um, ABS. I thought poverty only affected money. But still, that's interesting and nice to know. because I'm I'm assuming the modifier would be checked based on when you were actually picking it up. Uh, and maybe wrong on poverty since it's all eyeball science. Well, poverty is supposed to affect money, not experience. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I actually want to go to Sindane first before... Doing stuff here. Come on. In. Go. Okay, so let me see what I need. I know I need life elements too, and I don't think I have too many of those. No, I need like 36 of them. You do everything with me eyes and count the pixels. Ah. Yeah, I'm no data miner, so uh, you got me. So I'm gonna need tasty water from you. We need one badly. I mean, in my case, I don't really care. I know what works for me and what doesn't, but it'd be nice to see some of the more, like, intricate, like, internal stuff that happens behind the scenes, just as a sort of, hey, this is neat kind of way. All right, so let's see. How many of these do I need? 36. Yes, and I need four. You know, the Dark Cloud 2 fishing community needs a data miner. Yeah, see, I don't do much fishing. I think I fish a grand total of, like, unless I'm killing time, for stuff that's actually, like, practical and forward progress, I think I only do fishing a grand total of, like, three or four times. So, yeah, I'm not too phased about it, but... That's just how I play. We're trying to figure out what the biggest possible fish are, and there just isn't an end. I'm pretty sure the size of the fish technically scales with the stats on your fishing rod, because the stats on your fishing rod determine like what kind of stuff you actually can catch, among other things. So I would assume if you're, you get your fish your fishing rod stats high enough, you'd be able to catch particularly large fish. We all have a hundreds. Yep, that sounds about right. But beyond that...
Look, you little cop fish that clip into the floor. Ooh! <laughs> That's something I need to see a screenshot of to believe. Granted, I know for a fact it does scale with the stats of your fishing rod, and I never tend to level up my fishing rod stats that much. So, just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not possible. Anything else I can sell? Uh, I can sell these. I promise it's a fish. Um, all I'm seeing in my chat is three asterisks, so I don't know if you posted a link or not. I did, it's a fish we share. Ah. It's an inverlink link of a Kaji that doesn't have a third of its body. Kaji, Kaji. I don't think I've ever caught a Kaji. Is that one of the ones you catch with the lore rod? Oh, uh, let's see. I think Monica's good. Yeah, Drain Seekers are good. Ruler Sword, Moon Armlet, yeah. Maybe a fourth of it's underground. Woo. Yeah, Kaji. That name's not familiar to me, so I'm assuming it's one of the ones you catch with the lore rod, because... I tried using the lore rod a couple of times, didn't like it. Petite fish in Vinicchio, Chapter 4, or Shigura. Okay. I guess I've just never caught it. Maybe I fished at the wrong time of day? Morning day is most common. My guess is it's one of those things that I probably have caught before, but my memory's so bad I don't remember. Because usually when I fish at Vinicchio, I usually end up catching bonds. fish. Yep, Bon, Hamahama, and Kaji are all the same bait. I've gotten Hamahama and Bon. I don't think I've ever seen a Kaji. Okay, so I think that's all of Hamahama's your favorite. Uh, Hamahama's the green one, right? That sounds right. The hammerhead. Yeah, yeah. Why did I think that was... Like, I recognize the name. I don't think I've ever actually caught one myself. I don't remember. Like I said, my memory is really poor, and I've got a good... Jeez, when did I first start playing this game? I've got at least 15 years of memories of this game, so somewhere in there, I probably caught one and just don't remember it. Sadly, I'm not like Jurak and can just look over all of my memories on a whim. There's no need to catch one. I never, I never had until two months ago. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. I thought they were in Dark Cloud 1. Uh, they might be? 
Granted, the only fish I really care about in Dark Cloud 1 are Mardengarian, Berengarian, and on very rare occasions at Matataki Village, the Umatakara. But um, mostly it's the Garians that I care about in Dark Cloud 1. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything else should be. I'm gonna go smashing stuff. I love that the Umatakara isn't even a fish. I mean, it is, kinda. It's a fish with a horse's head. It's literally a seahorse. Cedric this time, so it's time to wrench some fools. Ooh, stone tea. Hmm. I need the geostone right away. Wait until you double check the description. Uh, I'm guessing you're talking about the description in Dark Cloud 2. In Dark Cloud 2, I have never caught it. I've only ever caught them in the first game, and honestly, I don't remember what their description is in the first game. The only thing I remember about them is that you can catch them in Peanut Pond with a carrot. That's the only thing I remember. So they called it a fish and threw it back. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, that, I can see why that would be humorous. It's got me chuckling. But granted, since I do know what a new Matakara looks like, yes, I can definitely say that that's apt. another version of the joke in Rogue Galaxy. Um, like I said, never played it, so I wouldn't know. Nice triple. I know, you very rarely get that without, and here's the thing, without getting hit either. Usually in situations like that, you get hit at least once. But nope, they were stupid. That's the poison wrench plus five. Now I can start working all these Cabarrus hands. Yeah. I'm only in chapter five of Rogue, so I haven't hit it yet. 2023 was basically all about level five PS2 games. Very, very cool. I'm surprised you did all of level 5 or level 5 ps2 games if you never played the original dark cloud you're really missing out like it's not as nuanced as this game by any means it's a lot more basic but it's still a really good game Ooh. okay so we actually have two things we can do with this enemy here uh is there another one okay we've got a burger i want to see if there's another bomber head nearby okay so i actually want to kill the bomber head last Hmm, this is gonna be tricky. 
Because uh, there's two different things we can do. Oh, you are an idiot. Let's clear out, whoa, let's clear out everything else first. two swords in the first two floors and immediately broke them. Yeah, that's the big thing with Dark Cloud 1 is uh, if your weapons break, they go bye-bye. You gotta be really careful with this. You think you cried? No. You wanna know something that's that's cry-worthy? Uh, I know a guy who played through the entire game being very meticulous with his weapons, making sure they never broke. He had the Chronicle Sword up to the very end of the Demon Shaft and broke it on Black Knight Pendragon. Not even getting the Chronicle 2 afterwards could ease his pain. Okay, so... I'm actually gonna do something I don't normally do, because, um... I suppose it's not mandatory. Does he watch on Twitch? Uh, no, this was a while ago. This was before I started doing Twitch stuff. But, um... I'm gonna spoke to that story, I swear. I'm sure he's not the only guy who's had that happen to him. Okay, so this is a bomber head. Um, this is a mechanical enemy, so Monica's not going to be too good here. Uh, there is a scoop associated with this guy. Uh, he has two attacks, I believe. Uh, he has his standard melee where he'll run up and do a sort of spinny punch. You can block that. But what makes these guys dangerous is when they get low on health, uh, they'll inflate, start chasing after you, and eventually explode, killing themselves and doing heavy damage to you if you get caught in it. Um, fun fact, these guys and their variants have the most powerful attack in the game. Uh, what's their recruit? I don't remember. What do you mean, recruit? Are you talking about their, uh, monster badge? But anyway, so we actually do want to get a monster badge from these guys, which is why I've been saving up these bombs. Kill it with a bomb, and that should give us the badge. Alright, we got it. Monster Transformation Wind-Up Badge. Bingo. Yep. Uh, I believe it's just the regular bomber head is what the first stage of it is. But, um... Interestingly, the bomber head and its variants have the most powerful attack in the game, period, in the form... I was blinking on what their gift capsule was, and that's why. Yeah, it's because you have to kill them with a bomb. But, um... I think it's specifically a bomb, too. You have to use a regular bomb. The improved bomb and final bomb won't do it. Okay, there's another bomber head here. I'll deal with him in a minute, but I do want to clear out the rest of the area first because I want to try and get the bomber head boom scoop as well. You're coming to me. I'm not going to you. Sorry for interrupting you twice while explaining the most powerful attack. Yes, uh, I actually have a story to tell about the Bomberhead family. Uh, it wasn't even the most powerful type of Bomberhead. It was the second most powerful type, I think. 
um, right after a certain plot event in the bonus dungeon, um, I was using Monica and trying to level up her sword. I got caught in one of those suicide blasts while the thing was a uh, angry. Uh, keep in mind, at the time, Monica had... I think it was... I want to say it was 232 health, I think, is how much she had. That suicide attack hit me for 758. And there was literally nothing I could do but just watch with my mouth open at how high that damage number was. Okay, so I gotta be really careful doing this. Okay. So, like I said, I gotta be really careful doing this because in order to get the Bomberhead Boom Scoop, you have to take a picture of these guys as they're doing their suicide bomb attack. So, let's see if I can get them to do it. No, stop that. Okay. Okay, I'm glad he defused. So, because I forgot to have the thing on the camera. Nope. Yeah, they can defuse if you're not close enough to them when they do that. Oh! Damn it, I missed. Alright. That takes care of you guys. I'll have to put every fruit of Eden to Monica when I'm done. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure they actually have a cap for that, so that doesn't work. I want to say the maximum HP you can get is either 248 or 256. I've never really managed to get that high. Uh, I think 248 is the highest I've ever gotten. Baron hanging on is your nemesis. At least you get multiple chances to get Barons hanging on. Bomberhead, boom, you only get one chance. You mess it up, you gotta find another Bomberhead. Yeah, I completely missed Bomberhead Boom. Oh well, next time. Okay, I've got three shots to get this thing. Okay, this is more or less going to be exact. If I can't do this exact... I just learned how to properly go about the Chapter 6 Fruit of Eden glitch. Oh, there's a glitch with Fruits of Eden in Chapter 6? I'll admit, I never really bothered to look up cheats or glitches for this game. I didn't think they were necessary. I happened to find the, um, the Invincible Max and the, uh, name change ticket ones by accident. But, um, yeah, no, I don't generally look for cheats and stuff like that. That might be too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 saved? Nope. It bounced out of one hole and went into another. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this now, so I might as well just go nuts. We'll bounce it off this wall and see where it goes. Yeah, if you open them in a wrong order, one will disappear permanently. Oh, that's not Chapter 6. That's, um, that's a glitch throughout the game. I think that starts as early as Balance Valley. Like, um... I know if you do certain, uh, you do certain Giorama things out of order, and some Fruit of Eden boxes will just straight up not spawn. Chapter 3, but they reappear in Chapter 6 if you do it right. I'd never collected them properly in 6. Neither have I. Honestly, it's just a single Fruit of Eden, and 8 HP in the long runs not gonna mean the difference between one shot or two shot. Uh, especially when you get to the bonus dungeon, if you're gonna get hit, you're probably gonna get one shot if it's angry at you. Yeah, but my pride. 
I'm sorry, but you'll just have to swallow that. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, so I have one more floor to go through. Secret of Fire Mountain. Okay, hopefully there's more bomber heads here, because I'd like to get bomber head boom. I mean, a magnet off is a nice start, I guess. the blow to your pride to not be able to get all of the health power-ups. It, it bothers my OCD. But I've played this game enough and just accepted it, so it's not, it doesn't bother me anymore. Especially after getting hit for almost 800 damage, that really put uh, how health and defense uh, get taken into account into a whole new perspective. It's like, it doesn't matter if I have max HP, I ain't surviving a hit for 700 plus. That sounds like a burger? No. to say, but check to see if there's any over here in the corner. Magmanoff Central. I've seen mostly Magmanoffs and I believe a Steam Tour. That's all I've seen so far in here. A bomber head would be nice. Okay. Just more magma offs. Okay, so it looks like we're approaching about halfway. You don't open a rock, you pick up the rock. 
You don't pick up the chest, you open the chest, especially when the chest has a mimic in it. conversation about fish and I'm trying to remember what that green fish is it's green kind of slender has really long fins that almost look like they could be like a sort of like a strider type thing is that the pickly it might be the pickly anti-curse amulet not interested I will never say no to a power crystal those things are rare Give me all of those you can. Ooh, a flame gun run. I think it's the only gun run type we haven't seen. He just ignored me the second I got behind him. Two hits, that's embarrassing. Really? That was the last monster? Alright, that takes care of you guys. I don't think I picked up the magic crystal yet, have I? Huh. Watch it be down here. Oh yeah, there's a ton of chests here. Or at least two. Let's see if there's any further down. One of those has to have the magic crystal in it. Yeah, looks okay. So it looks like about half of the forest treasure was just down this random narrow hallway. I'll take that. Nice. Random bones. All that magic crystal, not that that does anything. And hey. Hey, that somehow hasn't caught fire despite being found in a volcano. Mm. Oh, wow. Seven shots. They're being really generous with this one. Though granted, considering how many elevation changes and corners I gotta turn, hmm, it's probably gonna be needed. Hmm. Oh, that's bad! Yep, I, I was just a little bit off. That's a horrible start. Oh dear. Good thing it's nothing critical. Yo, 
Abstract, you're being kind of quiet. I didn't scare you off, did I? Oh, please don't get stuck. Ooh. Oh, are you stuck? Okay, Hugh, I was worried it got stuck there for a second. That would have been really, really bad if it got stuck. Oh, 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 oh! Will you still fall in a hole? Woo! I might actually be able to make this. Not again! Oh, oh that actually might have helped. Hmm. Can I bounce this against the wall and actually get it to where I need to go? That's going to be really skewed. Let me try moving this back over here. Ah! That might not work. Oh, it did! <laughs> Thank you for deciding that that bounce was worth it. Oh, man. What do we get? Amethyst, another free gem. One of my favorites, too, color-wise. down an amulet. Um, it's about equal. I'll give it to Max because of plot reasons. So we want to go to the Nikio first.
I don't know how much you'll be able to fix, considering I think you've only got enough points for two. Yeah. head off, I want to grab Gerald. That's it's gun time! And you, you can have your bombs back. That'll do for now. It's been about two hours. I sadly have to go to work in the morning, so I should probably be going to bed. And yeah, I think that'll conclude it until next week. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for the interaction. It's nice to have new people come in. And I'll see you all probably on Friday. I don't know if we'll be doing Grounded or not, because Kayla's got some family issues, but um, we'll just have to see, I guess. Anyway, again, thank you all. Have a good night, and I'll see y'all later. Actually, speaking of Kayla, let's see if she's still around. Um, are you still around to raid? No, you are not. Sad. Okay, well, that's it then. Bye, everybody.